All right, guys, so I have your packages. We have Copper chilling out there, Copper Jr. and Ocean. Um, let's go ahead and get my wallet as well. We do need that. Over here. Ooh, look at me locking my stuff so no one robs me. Moving all the stuff to the 535. Damn, this thing is filthy. We're definitely gonna have to wash her today. Probably go wash her after we get something to eat. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. So today, um, we pretty much have a little mod that's gonna be going right here. It's basically this, but built into the car, so nothing's actually on the trim itself. So we're gonna be installing that, and we do have some carbon fiber, but we're also gonna be driving this car today um, as one of our last, unfortunately. Let me explain, let me explain. First, uh, let me sit you guys down because I'm, I'm a little bit too tall, and all you guys can see is pretty much the top of the steering wheel and up. So let me go ahead and set you guys up right here. Now before I start this video, let me just explain something. I don't plan on selling this car for cheap. This is one of those cars that I'm gonna be putting up for sale, and if I get the right price for it, then I'll sell it. But if I don't get the right price for it, we're gonna keep it, obviously. Now the reason I have to sell one to two of my cars, um, and I'm only gonna be selling, again, for the right price, is because we're trying to get a supercar on the channel, and then we're also trying to get another rebuild on the channel. Not build, but rebuild. So uh, we do need money. We are, we, we're not made out of money, guys, so we do have to sacrifice some of the builds for that. But uh, we do have some bigger and badder things on the way. I am super excited for our first supercar, guys. And I'm super excited for the next build. It's gonna be an M car. So, that being said, stay tuned. Alrighty, first gear. For, for a big car, this thing goes. This thing goes. And also, guys, we got the paddles to work as well. How cool is that? I think that's pretty awesome. These paddles on the 5 Series have like this grip behind them that is so comfortable. All right, guys, so we do need to go to the post office. We do need to wash the car. So I'll see you guys when we get to the post office. All right, guys, so we are here at the post office. Let's go ahead and drop off all the packages and uh, take uh, take Ocean on a wash because the ocean needs to go back. Now you see it, and there's nothing. So yeah, we are officially back from the post office. So at this point, we did forget our rags, but we still need to wash the car. So let's go ahead and wash the car, take it home, dry it off. Maybe we just have dry it off with like a wet rag or something. Oh my God, okay, not too shabby, boys. Woo, it's got a little bit of go to it, boys. Go. Zero to 60 is not bad, guys, not bad. Imagine there's a cop right behind me. He's like, what were you doing, sir? Oh, I was testing out my zero to 60. All right, let's just get to the car wash because your boy really wants to wash this car. I can't wait to get home and just detail the interior as well. It's super filthy, uh, but the exterior needs a wash. So let's just, uh, I'll see you guys as soon as we zoom down to the car wash. But yeah, here is the car wash. We have arrived safely. Thank the Lord, God bless. Oh, uh, I thought that was an R8, but that was a Miata, Never mind. <laughs> you have arrived at your final destination. Please turn right. Damn, we got some Japanese cars. We got a 240 Miata. Uh, yes, I know a little bit about my Japanese cars. It's actually about this. If you guys didn't know, I was gonna get a Miata and start my channel with a Miata. Believe it or not, that was gonna be my first car in that exact same generation too. So it's kind of crazy to look at, to be honest. All right, so we are in bay number four. Let's go ahead and park the beast real quick. Bada bing, bada bing, hi. Huh? I'm starving. Let's get some food, head home, eat. Actually, I'll probably dry the car. Yeah, let's be a little bit responsible, Nor. Dry the car. I bet you guys are so, so many of you guys are cringing that are detailers. You're probably like, Nor, what are you doing? Well, the car was filthy, so hear me out. But we're going to dry it as soon as we get home. But let's get some food because I'm starving. Starving. Guys, Aza. Oh, my God. I cannot get over Aza. Aza, shout out to you guys. I love you guys so much. These, their wheels are literally art. They make me feel like the difference between driving a regular BMW and like an exotic. Like, that's what their steering wheels feel like, honest to God, guys. Like, I know. And just to put it out there, guys, they're not paying me to say any of this stuff yes i work with them but they do not pay me to say any of this stuff this is stuff that i could like they even tell me i can say whatever i want about how i feel about their steering wheels but there's nothing to say but positive things about their steering wheels it's just such high quality i can't even i can't even explain any anyway, anyway, let's get some chipotle i am starving we got our chipotle and our sensor started freaking out after we washed it which is actually a good sign since i know how to fix my car 
I'm gonna go ahead and fix that as soon as we get home. I'm gonna go ahead and cut around the sensors and just make this sensor an individual piece so it will no longer beep even for the next owner because I don't want the next owner, you know, freaking out. Obviously, I know how to fix this stuff, but he doesn't. So I'll make sure this car is 100% ready to go. And oh my Lord, oh my Lord, I can never get over it. All right, we got to Chipotle. I'm starving. Let's head home. Oh my God. We also have a couple mods for this, which I'm very excited about. And I have to peel off all this 3M. I'm gonna try to detail this interior. We got so much to do today, guys. So many mods, so much cleaning. All right, guys, the car is looking so much cleaner, but there's still a lot of dirt from just the water being there. So we got McGuire's quick detailer. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the whole car with that before we actually go ahead and eat. I am so hungry. We also have so much to do from the last video, guys. So I'll have to unpack, get pretty much situated in the new garage for now. Um, but yeah, we do need, well, technically the, the OG garage, if you guys remember. So anyway, let's go ahead and detail the car. This thing needs a much needed detail. All right, it's finally time to eat. I am starving. The car is officially fully quick detailed, I would say, and washed, so I think I deserve to eat. Catch you guys in three, two, one. Man is back. That Chipotle was stupid good. So uh, we are finally in the garage, all filled up and ready to go. I'm actually feeling really good after that meal. For some reason, this whole week, every time I eat a meal, I feel super depressed and tired. I don't know why, but today I ate the meal and I felt pretty good to go, so I'm super happy about that. So I ordered this spoiler thinking that I'm gonna be keeping the car a little bit longer than I expected, but apparently it came in right when I was actually thinking about selling it. And that's because, again, I'm trying to get a super car and I'm trying to think about this smart. I'm not really trying to keep all my cars cars and then buy a supercar and just be a little bit in debt. I so I figured instead of actually sending the spoiler back and returning it, why not put it on the car? Because it's the last bit of carbon that this car needs to be fully carbon fiber. We upgraded the grills, not really carbon, but still look amazing, this gloss black. We have a carbon fiber lip, carbon fiber side skirt extension, and carbon fiber rear bumper extensions with a carbon fiber M5 style diffuser. So uh, we got a lot of carbon on this little puppy, and this diffuser looks so freaking good, I'm not gonna lie. So the only thing we need right now is a spoiler because it's looking a little bit off, too much blue. So I think once we actually get a spoiler back here, it's gonna look really good, and it's probably gonna help the resale value regardless. Plus, if I don't, end up selling it. I want the spoiler, so it's a win-win regardless. I know you guys are probably like, Noah, why are you leaving the shop? I need more of an explanation. Noah, why are you selling your cars? Trust in the process, guys. I'm doing something pretty big, which is getting my first supercar. Something else is also happening in December, so I just need you guys to kind of work with me here, but trust me, it's all gonna be good stuff, and we are getting back into rebuilding. Just trust in your boy. All right, all right. So, let's check out this carbon fiber spoiler. I'm hyped for it. So, three, two, one. It feels actually so nice. It feels so nice. I don't even know how to explain. It literally feels like nothing. It feels probably lighter than my fork. I really don't want to drop this, but it is so light. It looks so good. It has a little bit of aggression right there. As you guys can see, it looks super good. Plus, what I love about Keys Motorsports, you already got that 3M on there. We don't have to go buy 3M. So without further ado, let's go ahead and slap it on. I know this is gonna change the whole rear end. I can guarantee it. So here's a quick little before. Actually, I'm probably gonna add a little bit of heat to this one sec. Now that it's heated, let's go ahead and slap on this little bad boy. <laughs> oh, buddy, that looks so freaking good. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, I actually get really good at just laying it out without putting tape. People, people do the tape technique. I like to kind of put my finger underneath both sides as I'm setting it down. And as you guys can see, there's a little gap here, but there's also the exact same gap on this side. That's how, so pretty much that's exactly how it's supposed to be. And it looks freaking amazing. I love how there's a little bit of an indentation right there. And finally, now the car just has that carbon act that looks so good in the rear. Bunch of carbon on this bad boy. All right guys, this car is really coming together, but we have one more mod for the interior, and that is a cell phone mount. So let's go ahead and throw that on as well. Again, I ordered this cell phone mount with the carbon fiber spoiler from Keys Motorsports. If you guys want any of these products, it's gonna be linked down below, but check that out guys. Oh my God, this actually, the fitment's amazing. As you see, there's no wiggle room at all to it. So that's what I love about it. It literally fits absolutely perfect. It already came with really strong 3M. Wow, that weave looks so good too. But anyway, let's go ahead and add the uh, the foam mount as well. What I love about this Keys Motorsports foam mount, it literally looks like it's one with the car. I've never gotten one of those before, but I need something to pair up with this steering wheel, just kind of have that luxury vibe to it. Right, guys not only do we have this sick looking carbon fiber spoiler now but we also have the foam mount so if we just go ahead pull open this door 
hop inside. Bada bing, bada bang. Now this is such like an OEM look. I definitely have to clean this up. I'm gonna clean this up right now, do not worry. But this is more of like an OEM look. It mounts from behind the car, behind the trim. So it makes it look like it's one with the car. And obviously this is fully adjustable any way you want. I went ahead and slapped the magnet right on my phone. So this is gonna be super, super, super nice to use. Again, I might as well put these mods on because if I don't sell for the price I want it, I'm not selling it. It is a beautiful car and it's absolutely in perfect condition. Like look, there's no lights on the dash. What BMW do you get has no lights on the dash? 80,000 miles, clean title, and it literally is immaculate. So let's go ahead and clean up the interior. If you guys want this foam mount, it's actually really, really, really affordable. Plus it's like the best looking foam mount you guys can have in your BMWs. They have it for every single model at Kia's Motorsports. Make sure to check them out, link down below. And also the spoiler, link down below. Huge shout out to them. For, I'm working with them to get these two parts for this car and it looks so nice. All right, let's go ahead and detail the interior. The, ter the interior does need a little bit of work. So I'm gonna go ahead and get interior detail detail and cleaner and just pretty much wipe down the entire surface of this car and just take everything that's mine out of it just in case it does sell in the next day or two because it's honestly possible for the price I'm listing it for. And if you guys are wondering how much I care, I'm selling the car for, I'm selling the car for 15,000. Currently right now on the market, a non M Sport is selling for around 12,500 to 13,000 without an M Sport body kit, clean title with around 80,000 miles. This is 80,000, it's pretty, it's pretty much my spec. So this car is worth about 13,000 without any mods. This thing has a full M Sport body kit, front fender conversion, front hood conversion, full carbon fiber, custom steering wheel, valve tronic exhaust, JB4 tune, plus an AFE intake, like all those mods alone add so much more and then obviously the whole car is wrapped so this thing does not look like a typical $13,000 535 all I'm asking for is 15,000 because I don't like to count all these mods just in case a subscriber wants to purchase it from me and I got the car for less than 13,000 so that's how I'm factoring in I don't want it I don't I don't care for a significant profit. As long as I'm making money on this car, it is definitely gonna be helping me out towards the supercar that we're gonna be picking up pretty dang soon. Plus, mods don't really add value in a sense, but it does definitely add a little bit of value. It doesn't add the exact, exact amount that you put into it, but it adds a little bit. Obviously, someone wants a little bit of a modified car in terms of aesthetics, more than one that's not. So it's like saying, would you rather have an M Sport for a couple extra thousand or one without M Sport? You obviously pay a lot more for M Sport from the factory, but it's worth a little bit more still till today because M Sport is just better. It's just better. And this one has a full M Sport body kit, so that's pretty lit. Anywho, anywho, let me go ahead and clean up this interior. Uh, time lapse mode. I'm gonna go ahead and just run around this entire car and clean it up. Let's, let's get it. <laughs> Right, guys check out this interior it's already looking so much better we got the new foam mount no more gunk right there it's looking so good i love this car actually cleaned up it looks super good when it's actually cleaned i haven't i honestly have never cleaned this car since i got it so uh that was a long overdue all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and set you guys down i'm gonna take a few photos right now for the car to put up on craigslist offer up facebook all that good stuff as soon as we sell this car, boys, we're getting the supercar. So uh, if this doesn't sell within two weeks, which I'm only going to give it about two weeks, I'm actually going to put up one, another one of my cars for sale. And if that doesn't sell within two weeks, I'll put my other car for sale, unfortunately. And there's one I really don't want to sell, but we really need to get a supercar on the channel. I have some really sick ideas for this future car I'm trying to get, and I think you guys are going to absolutely enjoy it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, set you guys up and uh, just take a few photos for the 535, and we'll put it up for sale. And we are back in the house, guys, with the two keys to the 535, and the 535 is listed for 16. I basically want 15, but you guys know how people are. They always try to break down the price. This car is over maybe, maybe like $10,000 in mods at this point. So it is absolutely insane how much we've done to this car in the short period of time that we've had it. Uh, but yeah, now that we're getting a supercar, we definitely have to upgrade at this point. So this thing is up for sale. The only issue is that I left the picture, that sensor, you guys saw that I tried to fix it. It worked for a day or two and then it went bad, but then sometimes it goes good again. I just want to mention it because I don't want anyone like, you know, I don't want someone to pick this car up and then after a day later, they didn't know that and it kind of like freaks them out. So there's a sensor that's bad in the car, so it does need to get replaced, it's like a $100 sensor, but that's the only issue. 80,000 miles, clean title, and uh, here's the list of everything that's on it. 
literally insane. So many things have been done to this car, guys. In terms for the wrap, the only thing I added, and you guys know, for the wrap, I only paid $600. I put $2,000 for, you know, the general population. If somebody that doesn't watch my channel wants to buy the car, they technically, you know, I have to put in my labor hours. So technically, it's a $2,000 job, but you guys know it was $600. That's all it cost me for the wrap. In terms for everything else, this is the original prices of everything. Um, and yeah, I just put a little bit of details about the car. But um, yeah, that's it. So the 535 might be gone. We don't we don't know yet. You guys know I have three cars. I cannot get a supercar and have three more cars. It's too much insurance money. I cannot afford that. I love this car, but when it comes to the, four, the N54, I have so many plans for the near future for that. And for the 435, it is an absolute dream of a car. I love that car so much. It's really hard to let go. So if it's one out of the three, the first one I have to let go of would be the 535. And the second one, it's kind of tough because the N54, we still have so many things we got to do to it. Uh, so I don't know if I even want to sell that one. And the 435, I really don't want to ever. So that all being said, I really hope this gets sold, unfortunately. But that just means we're going to be getting a super car and some more rebuilds on the channel so i'm sure you guys will be very excited for that so make sure to smash that like button and there's so many unanswered questions that's going on with the channel right now if you guys have any questions to what's going on with my life make sure to comment down below i'll be replying to everyone that has a serious question about my life there's so many things happening within these next couple of weeks school december marriage supercar shop so many things going on in the near future for me and basically my head's all over the place so if i sound a little bit you know all over the place i am kind and i'm sorry for that so make sure if you guys have any questions questions let me know down below but if you guys are excited for the supercar build and you're excited for the rebuild build make sure to smash the like but without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out